Hello everybody and welcome back to the By4 Entertainment YouTube channel. This is Loaded Die and you're watching episode 8 of our Stardew Valley playthrough. Let's see, where did we... Well, it sounds like it's raining outside. So that sounds like a mine day to me. That's oh, a rain all day tomorrow too. Good luck. Totally raining. Parsnips. Any gold parsnips. All right, we got one gold parsnip. I'm not mad at it. Um. Oh. There we go. Let's go in here. Throw our fertilizer in there. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know, today's definitely a mine day. We already got the catfish. We got all the fish already. It's totally a mining day. Um, I feel like since we spent so much time looking for leaks that, you know, third episode in, I want to say, uh, I, I find them everywhere now. They were so hard to find, now they won't stop spawning. We'll accept it. I'm not quite sure if we'll get to it, though. Um, we're going to go to the mines first, because we're not going to be there for long. Excuse my dog, he's going nuts behind me. Ripping up the new toy I bought him. Yeah, since we essentially, the only thing we really need to do for the, uh, for the community center this season is get those five gold parsnips. start upgrading my tools soon. Yeah, we're at level 35 in the mines now. We're starting to get to the point where our base pickaxe isn't going to be particularly helpful. One of the things I'm working on for the channel is an animated series that it won't be up probably until the until sometime next year. I'm still in the middle of building the world, and I'm, I'm actually really excited, really excited about it. What world building is one of my favorite things to do. I do enjoy just creating an entire. You know, an entire world. It's it's just really, really fun. You get to create entire economies, entire political systems, though I've never really delved as deeply as I'm going to have to delve today you know, for this project. So I'm really excited. It's, it's about a year out, so there isn't really a... There isn't much in terms of development. Right now, the only thing I have is the essential creation story, how the gods are involved, and right now I'm working on the magic system. Next, I'm gonna, the next thing I'm gonna start working on is uh, the political system. 
I kind of broke the rules and I started creating some characters first. But I just had two really good ideas for characters and I really couldn't pass up the opportunity. I didn't want to forget about them. So I wanted to, uh, to create them as soon as I could. And I'm actually torn between who I want to make the main character. That's kind of the, 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 the problem I'm running into at the moment. And how the story is going to fall around each character. I should just say flow, not fall. Yeah, it'll be, I'm excited. So I've also... I've also been having to practice my voice acting because I imagine I'm going to have to voice one of the characters just for the sake of convenience. So I've been working on my voice acting and my regular acting abilities. So I kind of hope it doesn't come to that and I get to use someone whose craft is actually honed. Yeah, this channel isn't just about gaming. Right now it is. Right now gaming is our is our main premise. But we have a lot of things that we're working on. Um, within the next few years, we want to be in development for our own game. And... Yeah, we also want to have animated series, TV shows, and all that in the future as well. Yeah, we're gonna... We really want to push the boundary Onto, on, into what enter, into what entertainment is. We really want to delve in and have our hands in everything we possibly can. While maintaining good quality. If we don't think something will flow well with our main image, we're obviously not going to be involved. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to you know, do it well. Or it would seem out of place. Ugh, I don't have any rocks on me. Have anything to eat? Oh, I'll eat this trout soup. I'm glad I had that on me, because I want to find the staircase so I can go down to the next level. We're only one level away. Are you kidding me? Ugh, I'm not going to be able to get the Pierre's. That's just unfortunate. I'm out of rocks. It had to spawn somewhere. I've never gotten stuck before. That's so weird. Wow, I don't have enough rocks to uh, build a staircase. That is annoying. I've never gotten stuck on on a level like that before. That's kind of outrageous. While we're out here and we have the fishing skill, we might as well. 
catch a few fish. I think we can get a smallmouth bass in the mountain lake. Oh, or is a smallmouth or is a smallmouth bass a river fish? I think it might actually be a river fish. Whoa. The other ones, the other ones were so easy, I was kind of just expecting to not have to work for this one. Yeah, smallmouth bass. Yeah, I think the smallmouth bass is a river fish. Let's get this horseradish. Yeah, this is going to be a two-day episode. And the next few episodes will be two-day episodes. No, actually, this will be the last two-day episode. And then the last two episodes will be three-day episodes. Because after we finish out the spring season, we... uh. We're going to go on a brief hiatus for our for Stardew Valley. And not long, maybe like three weeks to a month. But I do want to focus on other games. I do like playing Stardew Valley. I think it's a fun, fun game. But there's a lot of other games out there that need to be played. And someone's got to play them. checking the wiki right now to see if a uh, smallmouth bass is because I know it's either a river or a lake fish no oh. wow that was a really good chest And I got my smallmouth bass for Demetrius. That's who needs it, right? Yep. And we can start working on some friendships. I've kind of completely ignored the entire friendship, friendship aspect of the game here. Well, you know what? Let's fix that. Because we can give Shane a beer for his birthday. Then we can start making friends. Yeah, the friendship aspect is one of my favorite parts of the game, and I just... I was so focused on the community center and my farm and building everything up else or building everything else up around me that I forgot to focus on it. Uh, I could have sworn I had some fiber in here. Put that in there just in case. Um, yeah, to sell all the fish. I already have one of each of them.
I might as well plant these rice shoots. I'll plant them after I harvest my next wall, uh, my first round. I have 13 geodes. Today would have been a great day to go to the blacksmith. My dog is snoring behind me. Alright, so first thing we'll do is we'll go... No, I want to bring my axe with me. Uh, the first thing we'll do is we'll go fish in the mountain lake by Demetrius's house. That way we can just be there right by... Uh, I need that. I want to bring my axe, not put my fishing rod back. That way, we can be there right when he opens up, and then we're going to run right to Pierre's so I can go get parsnip seeds because I only have two gold parsnips, and I'll be very, very upset if I have to wait another full year to get more parsnips. So, from what I understand, the best grade fish, like the silver golds and eventually the purples, I guess when you get your skill high up enough, are all farther away from the land, obviously. But I don't know if, if, if that means from the point where you're standing, or... Oh my god, a diamond? The spirits love me. I don't know if that means from where you're standing or if like for example how I'm casting my rod and it's kind of landing close to that other piece of land but I did just get a gold fish so I'm, I'm still trying to quite figure I'm still haven't quite figured out how that how that mechanic works oh and guys remember if you're liking if you like the content remember to like subscribe and uh, turn on our notifications so you know when we uh, upload. Also, let us know in the comments what other games you want to see us play through, or if you want to see featured on our series called Buy 4 Goes Indie, where we play games by little-known developers to uh, honestly just kind of see what, what else is out there. You know, uh, My big issue with uh, the AAA games, even though a lot of them can be unique, is they all have the same feel like you won't always get the most unique experiences with with indie games it's newer developers they're trying to push the the level of creativity they're they're appealing to a smaller sect of gamers so you, you, you do get some you do often get some new experiences although although I have noticed, and I've noticed this a while ago, it's just something that I've really, really noticed since I've really been trying to find indie games, is that a lot of indie, indie developers have started f following the same formula. Like a lot of games that you, that you find now that are indie games are either puzzle solvers, roguelikes, Metroidvanias, or uh, 
and I don't even want to, they're more like, uh, they're so story-based that they're almost not even games. They, you kind of just wander through as a character, and you pl see the story unfold, but you don't actually play. They're, they're more like, gra they're more like video, no uh, video novels as opposed to video games, and these seem to be the four, I don't know, four or five main ways that indie developers, I did not mean to do that, that indie developers follow. So trying to, oh, and you can't forget dungeon crawlers. So I'm, I'm trying to pick out of those games and find the ones with the most unique experiences. Plus, it's always good to help a small creator. Now, I, I think... Oh, I almost completely forgot my plan. Hopefully, Demetrius is in here and I don't have to go running around town looking for him. Alright, not a Pierre's. But yeah, the more research I've been doing, it's been, you know, uh, the more often I'm running into the same kind of game, and it almost seems just reskinned. And I'm not saying it's bad to have to, to, to follow a formula. We're going to buy a bunch of these. And I'm not saying it's bad to, to follow a formula or, you know, even, you know, just because someone makes a 2D 8-bit platformer doesn't mean you can't make a 2D 8-bit platformer. But when everyone starts to follow the same rules, things become less and less original. Like, I've been finding a lot of 2D 8-bit platformers that haven't really added much to the, to the game, if you understand what I mean. Like, it can, it can, like, it almost seems like it's reskinned, and if it's, it's just a copy of another game. I'm also running into a lot of dungeon crawlers that you know I've seen that I've seen and they all kind of follow the same like there's nothing that makes them a unique dungeon crawler they all just follow the same follow the same formula When I play an indie game, I'm, I'm looking for something. I'm looking for a newer experience because it's a developer that's trying to break out and push and push his creative limits. Can I harvest that rice yet? Mm, some of them are ready, but... Let's see. Why? Oh, I can't till the soil around here. Only this spot. Interesting. Let's 
clear out around here and we'll plant the rice around here. Now he's going to fall. Oh no, he didn't. Nice. For a second, I thought he was going to fall completely into the river, and I was going to be able, I was not be able to get any of that wood. That would have been very sad. There we go. Problem solved. Alright, so it's still early. Do I have a diamond yet? Let's see. Is this my only diamond? If it's not my only diamond. Oh, it's totally my only diamond. Alright, so we're going to save that for later. Let's see. Um... Ugh, I kind of want to go back in the damn mines just to get down to that level. I just can't believe we got stuck. I've never seen that happen. From now on, I'm bringing rocks to the mines all the time. I've never had a problem where a, a set of stairs didn't spawn. But we're not going to have enough time to go into the mines in this episode. Back into the mines in this episode, so we'll go in the next one. Uh, I wanted to go to the blacksmith today too, but I forgot. To process some of those 13 geodes I have. So from this guy is where you buy the mermaid amulets. To, I think that's what it's called, mermaid amulets, to marry a villager. But he only shows up when it's raining, I believe. Which honestly seems like the worst time to stand outside and want to sell an amulet, but. I mean, who am I to judge the man's business? Who am I to judge the man's business practices? I just can't imagine there's a lot of walk-by traffic on the beach in the middle of the rain. I mean, why does he just, like, set up a shop somewhere? Oh, where did he go to get your mermaid amulet? Oh, he went to the shady man that lives on the side of the beach that only hangs out in the rain. Oh... Oh, how much did he pay for it? 5,000 gold? He paid 5,000 gold to a stranger who hangs out on the beach and peddles amulets? It just doesn't seem, it, it just doesn't seem like a good plan. Like, I'm sure there are many other more credible places to go buy jewelry in Stardew Valley. I mean, there's no other jewelry stores in Pelican Town, that's for sure, but I'm sure, uh, you know, a, a short bus ride to the city can, can cure that. I mean, I guess right now the bus is down, but, I mean, I'll be fixing that. Um... We don't need the bait right now. No, while I'm in here, I'm going to throw out this sap. Oh, our first purple fish. I'm going to throw out these two rocks. I'm going to throw out... That's all we're going to throw out.
over the next few episodes, I'm really going to focus on building up our gold supply. Like our actual gold coins, because we're, we're a little lower than I would like to be normally. Usually going, in the, uh, going into fall, I like to have like uh, at least at least five where I'm somewhat comfortable but I'd rather be around 7 to 10k going into fall fall is usually like right where my farm really starts to thrive and grow Four fiber will keep the seaweed. I mean, we could sell that diamond we got from fishing for like 750 gold, but I'd rather save it. Every now and then, you can get a delivery request for a diamond, and they'll pay you 2600 gold for it. So I'd rather hold on to it for that. At least until we get a, another diamond. If we get another two or three diamonds relatively soon, then we can, we can sell some. Oh, give me that back. And my wood supply is also a lot lower than I normally like it to be. Since I didn't watch TV. Oh, sweet. Learned how to make radish salad. Yeah, we had some good luck today. Today would have been a good day to go to, to the to the uh, to the blacksmith. There we go. It's not a bad day. I made four hundred gold from forging today. 784 from fishing. That's the... And I made so much because all the fish were quality fish. Like that gold eel by itself bought me 127. Halibut is 120 gold. And it's just one. Yeah, gold carp, 45 gold. And all that just because you threw your rod out a little farther than just pressing square and dropping it right in front of you. Well, in my case, pressing square, because I played this on PlayStation. All right, so we'll be starting off the next episode with 5,000 gold. And like I said, I'm probably going to try and get us up to around 10 before, before fall starts. That way we just have more buying power for seeds. But all right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning back in. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And remember, if you liked this content, like and subscribe. Make sure you turn on, turn on the bell so you can get our notifications so you know when we upload. Also, a little later, um, I'm sorry, also tomorrow, so right now, it's the, it's um, Monday the 11th, tomorrow, Tuesday the 12th, around 6 p.m., will be the next episode of Buy 4 Goes Indie, so make sure you guys tune in for that as well, 
and um, I haven't quite figured out what we're gonna play. What, uh, what I'm gonna play yet. Right now, it's between a few. Like I said, I want to try and give. I want to try and find the game with the the best experience. Um, so right now, I have a couple down the list that I'm I'm really trying to pick. But all right, guys. Again, thank you for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.